Hello, my YouTube, it's a wolf pack. Okay, I've been band reading for the last three days, but about uh, 20 hours a day in bed because <laughs> we overdid it. But okay, so for next year, right down the line here, all the way to the end of the property, I want to plant paper birch trees. If they grow, I don't know, but I'm going to try to get uh, paper birch trees all the way down there and then right about here about five feet from the wall I'm gonna put another row going down to that uh, yellow post down there okay so I'll have a row of paper birch on this side and on this side eventually they'll make like a canopy as you come through here you know in a few years <laughs> And then, uh, just wanted to give you an update because, I, like I say, I've been in bed for three days. So, uh, now once I get the gravel done next year, I'm moving this car to the end there, and I'm gonna put trees are uh, well right here, right here, all the way to there, to that other post. I'm gonna put jasmine plants. And then I'll do some around the far side too over there. Um, and this car will be over there. The bench will be right there where the car is. And then the wood that I cut up to use for the fire will be stacked along here. Then, see, see, we're coming in. Then over here, and this trench that's there goes around to that rock is going to be sage grandfather sage and grandmother sage and then this side is going to be all puppies for the veterans and yeah that's pretty much what I got figured so far and then once I get all the gravel done there um, but that's pretty much for sure what I'm doing next year Probably be doing some more stuff, but that's the only thing in the works right now is uh, getting the trees. I bought 150 paper birch seeds already, so and I've got about 500 poppy seeds and a couple hundred, uh, see, see, a couple hundred uh, sage and. Uh, jasmine seeds well that's one other job I was going to do this year was to level this off because it rocks eh but uh, I don't know if I get put on better before the snow comes maybe I'll do it but it might go on next year's list <laughs> we'll see what happens in the next couple of days if I feel better but I plan on doing a couple uh, investigations in there for you guys because you guys have asked so I'm planning on doing a couple uh, investigations and I got two investigations I want to do before snow comes elsewhere so if I can I'll get that done too but the way my health is, I can't promise it, but I'll do my best. I need to cut the grass one more time this year. But not if I don't feel good enough. I'm too, too sore and sick right now to even consider it, so. It's nice to just sit here and look at the grove. I pull up my brown chair there, but I don't have the energy. Because I'd have to go around this side all the way around and back again because I don't want to step over it if I can't help it. But I gotta do my nightly closing anyway.
do what I'll do is I'll take one walk around and let you guys see everything and then after it I'll, I'll do the prayers. <laughs> I catch my breath first though. Look how the vines have all turned red. Not pretty. See all these family lilac trees, we're all doing really good as you can see. And yeah, the wolf pack trees doing good. I don't know if these two birds I found are going to actually come up green next year or not. But I'm leaving them till next spring to see what happens. Uh, they might have been dead there and they, you know, but sometimes when you transplant birch, they look dead. And then the next spring they'll come up, so we'll wait and see. If not, I'm planting a whole bunch anyway, so from right from seed. So I'm gonna have to dig up dig up a trench all the way up on both sides. And then I wanna put that uh, black plastic stuff around it like that, so that when you use the weed whacker you don't accidentally hit them. I want to put some good dirt in there too, so. Big job. But, like I say, it's a springtime job and I take my time. And... But I think it would look really neat having, like, the birch trees on both sides and then you know how they all go like this. So, it'll be almost like a canopy. I'm only going to let them grow about 10 feet tall. I'll just keep tripping them off at 10 feet. Because I don't want, you know, huge trees. Well, I say 10 feet, but it might be 12 feet or 15 feet, you know. Who knows? Because they don't have to be humongous. And if you keep them topped, they won't grow past there, so. But let's go say goodnight to the grove. Oh, see us here, we're coming in. the sky thank you and good night thank you through the pathways thunderstick and the moon sun staff thank you mother earth thank you to the south thank you for all the community thank you for the fire the earth thank you water thank you wood and thank you air thank you color of yellow Thank you, Brother Sun. Thank you, Sister Moon. Thank you to the West. Thank you to the ancestors. Thank you to the Family Stone. Thank you, Grandfather. Thank you to the Color White. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you, Raphael. Thank you, Trinity. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you to the North. Thank you to the four winds, the community and mankind. Thank you to the color brown. <coughs> Thank you, Cougar. Thank you, White Wolf. Thank you, Hawk. Thank you again to the community. 
Thank you, Brother Mountain. Thank you, Sister Lick. Thank you to the east. And the final color, red. Thank you. See ya, see ya. Uh, thank you, girl, for all you do. Please bless all the Utopians and all the wolf pack. Spread peace, love, and joy. Give energy to those who need it. And help us all get better. See ya, see ya. Amen. There we go. See ya, see ya. Uh, tomorrow, if I'm up to it, I'll, we'll go and look at all the plants and see how they're all doing. But they're doing pretty good. So until then, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.